Franza. Good evening, Matej Kaczynski, captain Trentino Itas. Can be this match a rematch for the last two super finals? Well, uh, for sure it's a very important match, but uh, a rematch for the finals, not of course, because it's not a final, it's uh, just a group match. But for sure it will be an interesting one and uh, two strong teams that encounter each other. I hope we do, uh, we do great today. Are you ready for a strong, hard, strong match? Of course, uh, we prepared specially for this match and I hope we do good, not only because of the Champions League, but also because our last match in the Italian Championship was not so good and I hope that uh, we rebound from that immediately on this match. Caicedo non è quello della Lazio. Ci sono, eh? Grazie. Perché se rimane... Beh, qualcosa da qualche parte sì. Anche a Mike si va vestiti bene, no? Anche. Non ci credo, ci ha messo, ci messo mille storie questo mio amico che delle cose. Eh, che... K occhio oggi, eh? Ho preso una ragnatela. Da te a Ah, sei sì, pronto per lo schiacciatore? Sempre. No, so. Ma è una prende pure a te. Ma si va a dire tanto. Well, good evening and welcome to Italy for an incredible special evening in the CEV Champions League. We're live from the BLM Group Arena Trento, the beautiful and charismatic north of Italy. Three-time winners of this competition, Trentino, yes, powerhouses up against Zaxa in a repeat of the last two finals of this competition. Well, two powerhouses 
of the sport. Two teams of gladiators about to go to war in a game that will have power, speed, physicality in abundance. In the Champions League, it's the creme à la creme of Europe. This is the creme de la creme of the creme de la creme. Let's have a look at Pool D as it stands. Well, four teams in it. Zach Search, Trentino, Carlo Vasco and Deco Span are the group. Zach Search beating Carlo Vasco 3-1 on the opening day of proceedings. Trentino winning comfortably at home against Deco Span Menon. Game week two, it was Trentino that dropped a set in Carlo Vasco. Zach's are winning away at Deco Span, so there's not much in it here. I'm sure you don't need reminding that only the top team in every pool is guaranteed a place in the knockout rounds. The best three second places will be going through as well. Louis Lett with you here in the commentary booth. And I have been excited for this game all day long. And I'm sure you, the volleyball community, and whoever else watching, maybe for the first time, welcome to you, are excited for this one as well. I mean, Daniela Lavia, Alessandro Micheletto, Ricardo Spatoli, playing against Lucas Kazmarek, Martin Janusz, Alexander Slivka. Those six players were playing Italy against Poland not very long ago in the World Championship final. And the crowd are here, of course. Trentino very well supported, but what a couple of years it has been for Zaxa. They really have made their mark in the European history, becoming the first Polish team to win the Champions League. Then they won it twice, back to back. And now they're looking to win it three times in a row with three different coaches. Well, quick look around the teams. Well, there's Nicolo De Plama previously. One of two youngsters brought into the sign, Gabriele Lorenzano. One of two liberos being used this evening. There's been some changes for Trentino and for Zaxa during the off-season. Not only the changing coach, Tomas Samalevo, now the head coach of Canada, and Zaxa as well. But obviously Zaxa, without the MVP of last year's Champions League, Camille Semenyuk, who obviously went to Perugia, who currently are in outstanding form, by the way, in the Italian League, yet to be beaten. Trentino, well, they've lost five out of ten games already, but... Let's see what happens in the playoffs, shall we? Zaxa also haven't had the most incredible start domestically either. Three losses for them so far. A 3-2 win at the weekend in preparation for this game. Be interesting to see how the teams shape up this evening. Zaxa have used pretty much the same team both games so far in the Champions League where Trentino have rotated some of their players around. Well, it's early days in the Champions League, but this is a crucial game between two powerhouses of the sports. Keep an eye out for Daniela Lavia, the top scorer in this game at the moment, as we have a little look around. That was a Bartomoli Kluth, who has been used off the bench, two meters, 10 centimeters. Wojciech Szelinski, formerly of Olsztyn. Also, be interesting to see if he starts on the outside this evening. You expect to see the main man, Alexander Slivka. I mean, MVP in this competition in 2021. There is Eric Shoji, who's just a, well, the libero in the background been all around the world. Russia, two stints, American libero. Best digger at two Olympic Games. Italy versus Poland. Doesn't get much better than this as we have a look at Zaxa first. Lukas Kazmarek, opposite, two metres four. Uh, best opposite in this league last year. Polish opposite man. Keep an eye on him. Marcin Janusz, also the setter. Tom Wartenberg has started both games so far, but it's an all-star team for Zaxa. Missing out 
Lucas Kazmarek is still here, even though Semenyuk isn't. Let's have a look at Trentino Kaziski underpins this young team. I mean, there's been eight changes since last season, but Alessandro Micheletto hasn't won this competition yet. He's only 20, but he's just about won everything. And there is the man to watch. Number five, the left-hander on the outside. 2'11", the special talent, Micheletto. And the opposite number, another lefty, Alexander Slivka. 11 of the squad remain from last year's Champions League winning team. No more Semenyuk, but Kazmarek and Slivka remain. It's Trentino versus Zaxa in what really is a clash of the Titans here in Trento. The teams embrace before we start what could be an iconic game. 3-1 and 3-0, the last two Champions League finals. Both going Zax's way. An incredible journey for them. Started by Nikola Gerbic, who's now the head coach of Poland. As high tens all round Kazmarek top scorer for Zaxa Lavia with 19 the top scorer for Trentino as we meet the referees for this one before we meet the starting teams Fabrice Colados Igor Schimpel the refs for this one will Zaxa go with the same team of Janusz Padzitski both two of the best blockers so far in this competition. Started the first two games. You would say that would be the case with Slivka, Angelinski, Janusz and Kazmarek playing through the right side in the setting and opposite position. For Trentino, well, there was no Nelly, no De Gea and no It wasn't the same team as we saw in the opening round of games. The lights are off and we're ready to meet the new team. But Donovan Javernock started the first game against Decospan as we meet Zaxa. Lucas Kazmarek gets the nod. No surprise there. It's tough to see in the dark, but Adrian. Starshevsky, who took the MVP award in the opening game, coming off the bench, also getting the nod. There's a start for Slivka, no surprise. Tomasz Kalemka as well gets a start. Soji as the libero. So there are a few changes here for Zaxa. As he new starts, Kazmarek on the opposite. Watch out for those two, Shalinski and Slivka on the wings. And what will Trentino look like at home here? A powerhouse of a team as Kazitsky starts. No surprise there. Micheletto out at four as well. Ricardo Spatoli will start as the setter. And 18, I mean, we haven't even spoken about Marco Prodrashtinin. What a career he's had. The libero looks like it will be Gabrielli Lorenzano. As we have a look at the head coach, Angelo Lorenzetti. Well, Checo Lisniats and Marco Prodrashtinin. Two absolute legends of the sport will be vital in this competition for sure. There's Micheletto. The way that Spatoli works with the medal or the middles will certainly assist how he links with the outsides. It's almost go time here. The two clubs have met eight times in the Champions League. Polish.
side have won five, including the last four. We just did see the famous Lorenzani before Tuomas Samalevu, former coach of Finland, Russia, now Canada. First season with Zaxa. It's going to be a fascinating one. Hold on tight. Well, they haven't met in the group stage since 2017 when Zaxa beat Trentino in five in both occasions. Do not be surprised if this one goes all the way this evening. Well, it's Trentino who get us underway here in Pool D. It's a lovely looking serve to position one. And the middle gets across nicely, but it's a big high swing from Kazmarek to get us off the mark already. How much of the ball would that man see tonight? I mean, 11 medals or 11 gold medals in his career already. First start this season's Champions League for Kalempka. And it's a big serve as well. A little bit out of system. There's two up in the block. Good blocking, but the cover is also outstanding. And this time on the left side, Mika Leto caught underneath the ball, but manages to speed the arm up a little bit and in turn wins the point for Trentino. And Spatoli not disguising where that one's going, but almost setting more to the right-handed attacker as Mika Leto's underneath the ball. Mika Leto. Well, Father Ricardo won a lot of trophies playing as an opposite, but my word, what a career he's having. No touch off the block. So four touches against Zaxa so far. Challenge. Shoji's right in the middle of that one, saying that this one has to go for a challenge. This Niach is saying, I don't think so. The former scrum man in the middle. Disneyat's best blocker two years ago in the Champions League, but European Championship's best blocker as well. You name it, he's got the T-shirt. But alongside that, Podrastin is one best blocker in the Champions League three times, but never won this competition. So uh, let's have a look. Was there a touch? I mean, Shoji had a great look at it in the cover position, but Mission Impossible echoes out around the arena. Well, for Zaxa, they've won each of their last 17 Champions League matches outside of uh, their home. Last time they lost was in Lube, Chivitanova in 2019. So it'll be a, a rare commodity to even lose away. Oh, someone's got to get that. Micheletto is there. It goes to the outside. And another point goes Trentino's way. Promising start for Lorenzetti's men. I mean, both teams have eight players over two metres tall. No one in these sides would struggle getting on a fairground ride or be stopped from doing so. Micheletto, big crossbody. Taking the outside or the wing spiker front court receiver out of the game Stoszewski is not part of the Polish national team just caught out of rhythm great start Micheletto serving very strong here well Trentino said goodbye to Giulio Penali to Siena Daniela Albagatti Sorrento and that's an ace for Micheletto doesn't matter who's left Trentino in the off-season when Micheletto's firing up and Zaxa and their reception unit under pressure. Timeout from Zaxa already. Micheletto hit both sidelines. Power in abundance from the baseline. Let's have a listen in. We know beginning of the game, patience with serve, protect the conflict zones. Second touch, place mark, that were okay. Ready to go to triple ball when there's high ball on the uh, other side. Okay. Go, guys, go, 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 go.
Well, coaches don't like calling timeouts too early, but that one had to be called, didn't it? Piccoletto's on fire, and we're only six points in. Timeout doesn't do anything to disrupt the rhythm. Shows you a little bit off the net, but full Zach's are offense. Libero has to come in here to the right side. Big hammer as Patoli comes in. And that's as sharp as you like. On the wing from La Villa. Well, kudos to Lorenzano, who signed from Talanto, the libero. Part of the under-18s 2020 European Championship winning side. I mean, that's what Trentino do very well, is develop the promising youth, isn't it? Brilliant setting. Janusz makes life look very easy at times in this game. One hand, one on one. Always got to fancy him on the wing. Kaziski on the right side. Good blocking goes to the left. This hatch on time. This is the again, Lorenzano. He does a good job to just start things moving nicely. Everything is working well for Trentino. The pass is in a very good spot. Klaus Marek can't do anything about that one. But again, Rosario does well to get the ball into Patoli on the reverse pipe. And it's a change of direction from Micheletto that's just unreal. Ball drifts across him. He snaps it back off the body. High ball. Kaczynski goes through the body. Knows he's got three up there. It's a very smart play to go back through the body and challenge the cross court of Zaxa. Well, two very contrasting starts this as they're scoring left, right, and center from the service to Lisniats. Almost 40 international medals for him across European Championships, leagues, you name it. Reverse play, Zaxa. Third point on the board. It's going to be a lot of ball going through two. One would feel. Ten attack this time. Great set of march in. Janusz replaced Benny Toniuti. He was part of last year's Champions League winning side, Janusz. But Toniuti, obviously, the year before, was the general of the team. Oh, big serving now from Zach, so it's going to have to be a continuation for the tip out the back. First break for Zaxa so far. Micheletto served to the left-hand side and might just see him get overloaded at times today. Main threat for Trentino might get served a lot of ball. Daniela Lavia, best outside hitter in the European Championships a year and a half or so ago. Staszewski. He was very happy to come off the bench against Karla Vasco and take that MVP award. Paul Raskinin, I mean, you look at the great middles of the past 10 years or so, and both of these Trentino medals would be in the mix alongside the likes of Robert Landy, Simon. Good passing. Lefty. Slivka, but he's been dug on the crossbody. And where Zaxa haven't been able to make too many breaks, it's a phenomenal bit of defense from La Villa. And then on the counter, Trentino playing perfectly so far. Slivka the target, potentially because he's on the front court. Kaczynski might just be looking to put him under the cosh to then get more points off of him as we've seen previously. I mean, Kalinski, where hasn't he played? But he's part of the Trentino team in 14-15 with Gianelli, Sebastian Sole and Juan Serie A at that time, the man in your picture now. Also part of that team was Gabriele Nelli, who's back at Trentino. 
having played at Padova and Piacenza, Belgorod and Khan. I come off the bench. I mean, having a two meter ten opposite on the bench is a luxury. So Nelly might come on. He has obviously played in the Champions League this season already. Quick play in the middle. Good change of direction at the same time. Kalemka, first point on the board. One plus Liga in 2019 with Rezovia. On time, turning it away from the blocker. Beautiful work. Starting to make some points back here. Oh, interesting. Zitsky has to take this one. Big out of system rip. Zaxon out. Kazmarek out the back this time. You have to say, fascinating start in this one. Trentino won six of their last seven matches in the Champions League. They lost at home to Perugia in February last year. Perugia are looking phenomenal. Going obviously Semenya leaving Zaxa to go and play his volleyball in Perugia. Biggest transfer of the season. Again, Perugia picking the best players from other sides in a bid to try and win this competition. Has improved successful so far but this could be their year they're having a great run in Syria as well but didn't quite make it in the playoffs last year did they big serving to the front court receiver that sliding ball across the body is very hard for the passer to get the arms out and take the ball really early timeout now from Trentino you have to say quick out the traps but it's Zaxa so they've done a good job at just pegging Trentino back. Micheletto says, come on boys. Big battle here. The fans are letting us know very well. Front court receiver served again. Similar serve, Kaczynski has been plugged. Slivka has to do wonders from there. I mean, he's blocking, but for a left-hander on the right side, the amount of work he has to do off the ball to ensure he can get this in the hitting window. And then he chooses to tour Spatoli the smallest blocker of the lot. Interesting. The magical from Slivka there. The battle of the lefties as Micheletto fires away on the left side. Still just 20, I just can't believe how young he is. This time goes off body with a little bit of a lead. I mean, the beauty of being the height of Micheletto is that he can get away with leaning a bit to access the line. Smaller players just wouldn't be able to do that. This time he goes sharp angle, my word. We've seen two extremes in two plays from Micheletto. Second through the middle. Liznats working well with Spatoli, but it's Spatoli pulling the strings. Once more, obviously the second set of Lorenzi, Lorenzo, sorry, Spirotto left to Emilia. The end of last season, one of the changes from last year, Donovan Jivanok coming in, but also uh, Lorenzano, who started as the libero. We might see Nicolo De Blama, the second setter at some point, but again, just 20 years old, so they've gone for youth in a lot of ways here. Remember, Spatoli's only 24 still. Rushing in and Lisniak to bring a little bit of experience to that alongside Kaczynski. Has an answer for everything, doesn't he, that young fella? Off the net. Good feet. He can hit the sharp crossbody. He can hit the deep angle. We've seen him hit the line. Five points already from 14 for Micheletto. 
this is uh, absolutely the strongest team that Trentino have put out. Oh, big turn. My word, try digging that one at your peril. That one's put a dent in the floor from Tomasz Kalemka. The beauty of turning the ball, sharp angles, key to avoid the blocker hit. Helps with passes, certainly getting there from Zach. So it was a slow start, but you would say that they've been incredibly patient so far as Lemko is replaced by Choji. Nicoletto is back to serve. Oh, standing up, what a turn that one is, but it's unfortunately not the right side of the net for Kazitsky. Spatoni did good just to stay stable, stay low, get a hand on the ball and just pop it up. Hammer to the line, though. You've got to give him that one. Starshevsky just gets his shoulder through that bad boy and rips one. Lukas Kazmarek. Silver, or part of that silver winning team in the World Championships and also bronze in the European Championships. Slivka part of both teams as well. I mean, you've still got Bartomoli Hoof on the bench at 2.10. Norbert Huber also not short of a few centimetres at 2.07. He was the best middle blocker in the Polish league last season. So they have a lot of height if uh, they want to change it around. Interesting to look back on the last year or so and see what's changed in... Good high hands off the block in the end. But last year's Champions League final, Zaxa had Kasmarak and Christoph Rino starting there as Nerino, David Smith, Semenyuk, Slivka, Janusz, so Janusz, Slivka, Kazmarek, all starting this evening, and then obviously Shoji as well, but Kaziski, Mikaledo, Spatoli, it's almost the same side for Trentino as last year's final, there's a bit of a problem here. Net touch, I think, against Trentino. Could be wrong though, as still have a front court setter, so two options on the front. Kaziski on the back. Does it go to Kaziski? Two up in the block. Lavia has been shut down, and Zaxa from the slowest of starts, a one on one. Big move from Janusz. I mean, He's the fifth best blocker in the Champions League this year, yes, after two games. But it does show you that Janusz, for a setter, can certainly block very nicely. Maybe the one thing you'd say about having Tony Uti prior to Janusz is the fact that I might struggle to make you blocked, but he's a fantastic playmaker for the Olympic gold medalist. There's Lisniac off the block, good timing. Just tries to speed the arm up as quick as possible to put the blocker in trouble exactly what he does. Great game this one, too, early on. Out the back this time. It's another one where the rhythm just isn't quite there. Kavarik says, my bad. Potentially a little bit underneath the ball. And something you have to think about is, but obviously Semenyuk was the MVP of this competition last year. Not any longer as far. How will the split look with Starshevsky? The service has been the difference. Micheletto was perfect early on to serve Trentino into a lead. Now it's his opposite number in the wings viking position, Lavia, that pulls them away from Zaxa once more. Four point game here in the opening set. Good game as well. Yes, and we have just our side out, guys.
Well, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say it doesn't matter what happens in this first set. This game is going to be very, very close. Regardless, Slivka goes high. And again, he might not always have those sharp angles cross body on, but he does have a real good quick arm. And that's not the first time we've seen him go fast off the hands of the blocker. Spatoni still on the front court, so Kaczynski on the back. Micheletto! Wow. Hammer time! from Micheletto on the left. Stays so high, opens up real nicely. And in turn, Slivka just can't quite get underneath that one. A little bit too much venom. Four will do it. A better attacking efficiency for Trentino so far. Kazmarek back in the game. Doesn't go to Kazmarek, sorry. Middles have been pretty good. Kalemka back in the game. Pretty impressive game for the middles. I mean, this Nets for Russian haven't done anything wrong. It means the pass is there when you are using the middle, unless obviously we are talking about middles who can access, sorry, setters that can access the middle from just about anywhere. So there this time from Slivka. Well, Zaxa will want to keep their unbeaten run going. They're eight in a row in the Champions League at the moment. I mean, the main goal will be obviously to retain the title. The other two teams to do that, Zenit Kazan, yes, that team with Leon, Matt Anderson and Co. And also Trentino. I mean, for Trentino, they've uh, won this three times, but at the same time have then made the final three times and lost in 2011, 2015, 2016, and then last year as well, lost two times, sorry, both against Zaxa. 2015 they lost to Zenit Kazan. First set point for Trentino. I mean, so far it's been light work, but I don't think it's going to be light work for the rest of the evening. Lavier and Micheletto serving, very effective. Good pass. So just hip over the top, very good change of direction. What a set! My word, I think that was Daniela Lavier who managed to pluck that one out the net and put it in the perfect spot. Zaxa having to fight on here, and they do fight on through position two. What a scrap. That was just one of a couple of great touches in that rally from Shoji. Well, there you have it. First set goes to Trentino. They've already taken a set in this game better than they did in the Champions League final last year in the Super Finals in Ljubljana. What's going to happen in set two? We have no idea, but the serving, the passing, absolutely everything on point so far for Lorenzetti's men. And there is confirmation of the score. 25-20, Trentino comfortable in the opening set. That doesn't mean anything though, does it? That's always interesting. Three aces, certainly a sign of the service pressure that has been applied by Trentino. One block for Zaxa and a good receiving. They both use the middle pretty well and the setters are managing to run the game. At the same time though, the service pressure too good from Trentino. And if you two amass Samalevu, problems to solve here because Marek hasn't really got going. 
we have a look at some highlights of an entertaining set one here. Clash of the Titans in Trentino. Well, a little confirmation of the score. Trentino take the opener 25-20 against the talented Zach's aside. Or we will, well, we will know by the end of the season how much this Zach's team miss Semenyuk. There's been a lot of changes in the last couple of seasons for Trentino as well. I mean, a couple of years ago, they had Namir Abdulaziz. Went to Modena, now playing in Turkey. Obviously, Lucarelli went to Lube. Simone Gianelli went to Perugia. That was maybe the most surprising one of them all. But Gianelli, Semenya, Leon now, mouth watering stuff with Camille Rishlicki. I mean, pretty good team to say the least. But also saying goodbye to Julian Zenger. Had one year in Trento before going to Padova. For Zaxa, Kazmarek, Starshevsky, Kluth, Slivka, David Smith, the only players, uh, and Cornelius Panak, how can I forget? Cornelius, the only players to have been around both Champions League winning teams. But 11 of the squad, as I said earlier, part of the team two years ago. Big problems as Slivska's in town. Big cross body swing. Throughout the front court receiver still using the middle, though wasn't quite there for Spatoli, but forcing it will hold the opposition middle later in the game. Good speed and a good fast arm through the centre. The pipe attack. I mean, didn't go for the angles, but certainly did speed up the arm here. Lavia. And Lavia scored 21 against Depespan and 21 again against Colavasco. Good speed from Zaxa. Ball's trapped at five or six metres to Kazmarek. Looks like it's going to four, and then Yanush just gets the hips underneath it and fires it. Speed with speed. Too fast as uh, there's a chance to have a look at some video for. Shoji. Great setting. And smuggled through the block in the end, but you have to give Spatoli the credit there. He's a little bit off balance. I mean, if you find Liznets, he'll do something with it, that's for sure. But in those situations where the center doesn't look comfortable, toughest situations to use the middle. Almost four in the pass at the moment from uh, Zaxa. Big play through the outside. You just seem a little bit more in the zone here. Adrian Starshevsky. 196 in that outside position. The service pressure is certainly. Uh, something both teams are going to have to bring with the height that they have Zaxa and Trentino have to try and get them out of rhythm get them passing off the net take the angles away so there'll be some tactical serving in there as well Shoji puts the ball on point goes to the middle very well seen but the speed again from Zaxa too quick this time Janish Fires Pashinsky. You know, two meters, five centimeters. I mean, best beat Spiker, sorry, in the A League, but also the best blocker away back in 2015 when he was at Gdansk. 
played everywhere at Pajiski. There is the Ukrainian, 35 years old. <laughs> See you later. Two in quick succession. As I said earlier, this would not surprise me if we were still here at midnight trying to force a, a winner here. Lavia. Clever. Kaczynski is shut down, isn't it? That one goes Zax's way. Two blocks in quick succession. Open up a two point lead for Zax. Starshevsky doing the business, dropping the hands in very, very late. Nicoletto was on the pipe to no avail. Kaczynski had two on him, went to try and play into the middle of the court and got done. Starshevsky. Very solid here behind the service. And Shaji wouldn't up that one. Is through the 10 attack. Kazmarek. Is there a touch? Yes, there is. Of course there is. I mean, this is a completely different story to the opening set here. As Zaxa come out the traps flying. That dig from Shoji is exactly why he's in the team. Through the seam, a little deflection. Right arm on the ball, but he keeps it real solid. Doesn't let it get past him. And now, Lorenzetti is getting involved here. 35 medals in his coaching career. Looking good here, Zaxa, aren't they? Starshevsky will go again. He's won one Polish league last year with Zaxa, two Polish cups the last two years. Zaxa really has been sensational. Won his first gold medal in the Polish second league with Fart Kalice. Through the middle. Perfect from Trentino. Everything is in system. All of a sudden, the pipe becomes a very good option for this play. Lockers committed to the front court spikers. Good off pace ball. Really well taken. Pajiski has to take it as a middle. There is no outside, so it's going on the 50 to Micheletto. And Micheletto is looking to go off the hands, but there is no point for Trentino. Micheletto had to do some adjusting here to uh, give Trentino an option. Hammer from Kaczynski. I mean, some of Zax's defense so far in this second set, they've certainly upped their game. They're a tougher nut to crack off the hands once more. And defensively, Zaxa are unplayable. No matter what Trentino do, the defense of Trentino are on it. Kaczynski. Serve. Play the Zenit. Kemerovo. That would maybe suggest the connection why he's here with uh, Kuramas Samalevo, the former coach of Kuzbaks Kemerovo. So, Krasinski, somebody who he already knew coming into this team. He certainly could play for him in that 2018-19 season. Good work from the middles. That's what we expect from Trentino. Oh, committal! Commit block in the center from Lisniak. The ball goes to the opposite. Great setting again. Brought that one, didn't he, Lisniak? And a one on one for Kazmarek. It's uh, a beautiful thing for him, not a beautiful thing for Zaxa. Sorry, it is a beautiful thing for Zaxa, not a beautiful thing for Trentino. Oh! 
Doesn't matter. Over on one. That's it, Trentino. Sticking it to Zaxa with the pass. Did kill Trentino. Put it on the stats board. Podras it in. With the serve out the back. Excitement over. Things you rarely see as an overpass at this level. Score, I mean, Zaxa will be kicking themselves at that one hit the floor. Zaxa currently fourth in plus Liga at the moment. Shazbreski, we got the top and Rosovia second. Oh, two up. Cover's not bad, but it's another monster block. Look at the eyes. I think this is actually saying sorry that he didn't go up with the setter and in turn allowed the middle just to release to the outside and put two blockers up. Dangerous times as uh, Slitzka is back to serve. It's a good play. Another block. Zax is serving, blocking and defence. Very, very difficult to break down. Trentino now have to take a break. Tomas Kalemka is on flames here, isn't he? Everyone's giving him a pat on the back. But anyone that's Polish anyway.
absolutely superb. Serve to the front court receiver. Another hand in the block off of Kazmarek, and they've got to be delighted with the way that they've played block defense throughout this second set. I mean, Trentino off to the perfect start in set one, but I mean, the way that Starshevsky has served and at the same time operated on the wing, impressive. Tip from the top, very good reactions on the turn. Great dig to the line. It's important for Trentino here to start building and try and get some momentum back in their play because it has been. Well, there is the substitute, Donovan Shavirnok. The Czech man who uh, following in the footsteps of his father. Professional volleyball player, tip over the top. Not the first time we've seen that on the outside from Zaxa as of late, putting the big players of Trentino to the deck and making it difficult for them, especially over the top of Spatoli, the shortest blocker there. It's quite a quick way to cause some issues. Podrashenin has replaced Slivka, who loves this crossbody serve from the left sideline back in. It's a good pass as well. High swing. Using the middle a lot more, the pass is coming in. Lizniak, who's seen it, done it, got the T-shirt in all these big games, will still find a way. Just pinching in with the block, the impressive Starshevsky. Thus far, a real big shout for another MVP after winning the MVP against Carlovasco for Zaxa in their opening round tie, 22-13. And this is almost the perfect storm for Zaxa. The defense has been on another level, hasn't it? It must be so difficult. I mean, Jorge Kletu leading his team last year to glory. He's uh, obviously moved on to pastures new. Slovenia head coach at the moment, also Kuzbas. Was Kuzbas Kamarovo coach before Saxa, but. Following in his foot. goes to Micheletto. It's not that Zaxa weren't ready for it, but Micheletto hard to stop off a free ball. Joji here really trying to work the ball in, try and get it to the antenna to have a swing on it. A high, fast swing from Micheletto. Makes it 15-23. Well, there's a big one back, Lavia. Top scorer coming into this game for Trentino. Fifth top scorer in the competition. 42 points in seven sets. I mean, it would actually put him in third place on average. Only Kovacevic from Zaverci. No surprise there. And at the car. Neto from Tours in front of him, on average points per set. Fast play once again. Just does a good job under pressure there, just to lift the ball up into the path of Pajinski. Two meter five blocker. As I said previously, was with uh, Samalevu in Kuzbas. 
comfortable for Zaxa here in set two. This game just seems to be whistling away at a range of knots. Javinok out the back this time. And with that, Zaxa take the second. A miss serve to seal it. But there's a lot of life left in this game. Remember, Zaxa have won their last 17 matches outside of their home in their way fixtures. They're also eight undefeated in the Champions League. 1-1 one, one here in Trentino. A tale of two halves so far, to say the least. Second set stats. Got more positive receptions from Trentino there, but look at the blocking difference. Zach, so as you said, eight players at two meters plus. Got some big ones on the bench as well, but you have to say that in the middle they have been huge. Thomas Somerville, head coach, uh, Group Athletic, Jerzyn Kozle. Not a good start, but in the second set, uh, the service and the block marks the difference. Yeah, we have to keep uh, focusing on our side out because there's a big pressure uh, from the side of Trento in service. Keep that, be patient with that and create occasions, uh, occasions in uh, break point for us, yeah. And, and now? One rally at a time, nothing else. Thank you very much. Blocking certainly has been there, isn't it? Trentino haven't had the best of luck. They've lost their last four Champions League fixtures against Zaxa. Interesting to see what happens in set three. head coach of Trentino Itas, a good start in the uh, first set, in the second set more difficult. Well, we know that Zaska is uh, a very strong team. Uh, in the second set, uh, they played very well, uh, but uh, we can play uh, better in the service and digger. Thank you very much. Well, a man of few words, maybe having to do an interview mid-game. <laughs> Not what Angelo Lorenzetti would have wanted as he tries to uh, revitalize his team after that second set. You just never know what to expect here, do you? The level's so high, it could go to the wire in a set, but also the service pressure that both teams are capable of means they can also blow each other away at times. There is Vornik. We saw him in the previous set. Be interesting as we see him again. Zielinski, we know that he started games this year already, but who will they go with in set number three? Trentino have, well, just off the back of beating, or losing, sorry, the weekend to Trentino 3-1. Lost two games in a row with in the Italian League. And there is confirmation of the score so far, 1-1. Malevo, a master tactician in this game. Zaxa certainly improving in set two. Players just keeping warm before 
set three. That Italian league is juicy at the moment. Perugia haven't lost the game so far. But then have also lost five, as have Trentino. Lube have won five, lost four out of nine games. So, I mean, the top four in the Italian league, only one of them's having a real memorable season, but could all change come the playoffs. We know that it's not been plain sailing for Zaxa either. Getting ready. As you said, second stint at Trentino for him. 58 medals. I mean, he was playing in Japan before he came back to Trentino at uh, Chiquet Springs. But we are off set three with Ricardo Spatoli gets us underway. Zaxa with an early side out. Slivka. Let's keep an eye on Slivka because his serving was certainly instrumental in the previous set, but at the same time we've got Kalempka to serve, but I mean the standout for me in the previous set was Starshevsky on the wing. Just looked dangerous in all aspects of the game. It's interesting to see how Lorenzetti just changes a few things maybe to cope with the threat, but a good set. Ziski made lemonade there with lemons. Finding the tip over the top. In high place. Matoli with the dig this time. Looking for Kaczynski. It's going to be a volley on the diagonal over. Free ball for Soji. Three, four. Ready to attack. Goes through the pipes. Livka. Good pace. Good speed of the attack, but as soon as you give Zaxa a free ball, Isniac's had to commit. Kaczynski just pinching in, trying to help with the pipe attack, but the cross-body damage of Slivka had already been done. Micheletto, the target, to the middle. Big cross-body swing. Very strong work from Kazmarek playing defense. The opposite doing a fantastic job. We are in for a treat here. Well, it's just been slowed down from the first referee. What's going on here? This is not good. Well, it's Daniele. Lavia that's gone down. Not good news for Trentino or for Italy. Well, there are stats, seven points already, but the top scorer for this team in the opening two rounds, Lavia. up and moving and that's a good sign looks like Javernok is coming back in this time in the outside position the beer I mean hopefully he's okay Trentino play Padova on Saturday and then games against Siena then they're done before Christmas before playing Vienna or Verona sorry on Boxing Day out of rhythm out of system three up in the block for Zaxa it's another stuffy Stashevsky is in the mix again and there's no surprise he's having a wonderful game
Lucas Kazmarek. Previous of Lubin. Service pressure. Trentino is starting to fold here. The serving and the blocking. Well, we heard it from the Zaxa head coach moments ago, Tua Masamalevu, that the serving and the blocking was key. But my word, Trentino under the pump again. Well, there is the Viet. And fingers crossed, it wasn't nice, was it? Chantine won't want to take the risk, but hopefully there's a big chance for Donovan Javirnok. Oh, what a set. No way! A spike set from way downtown, and it goes the way of Trentino. Shut the absolute door. Matej Kaczynski on the fadeaway, falling backwards, just pops it with the palm into the perfect spot. Play of the day for me. <laughs> Even Kazmarek is saying, what was that? Fast to the line, there's an error from Zaxa. Zaxa think they have a case. Good cuddles in the middle for Trentino. They're feeling like they're starting to get a little bit of rhythm back here. Yes. Trying to take the front court receiver out the game, Starshevsky, and the errors are coming now from Zaxa. Good timeout, wasn't it, from Lorenzetti moments ago, because since that timeout, starshevsky has been put under pressure. He wasn't getting that ball back, and it's a long set towards Kazmarek. And to find the line of a set that wide is very difficult. Small margins, it's very frustrative but at the same time. Zaxa now under pressure, way out of system. Sarshevsky, three up. They do a good job staying aggressive. Zaxa and then recycling. Wide, three up from Zaxa. High, robust swing. This thing has fired up, isn't he? Kavernock, formerly of Monza. Which is where he took that best score at the Challenge Cup. He was there for a little while. Interesting to see how it goes. He's in that Monza team with Bartosz Kure. Who uh, I'm sure volleyball fans and Zaxa fans will know, especially. Krasevsky enjoyed his performance so far. Big server of the ball as well, but that one is popped in. Sister Micheletto, DIY. Thunderous blow and Trentino take the lead. I mean, 4-1 down to 6-5 up. Pretty quick work from Team and White here. Another cross body stinger. setting up nicely but it goes crossbody back to Straszewski again they really are putting him in un under pressure it doesn't matter if he's at or receiving a position four or whether he's over on the right side of court drifting in the block this time difficult for Podrashinin to get across and get his palms in the way there is Podrashinin this is going to be a late one, serve to the back corner. Mitch Leto is saying that one's a goner. They get the points. Lemka had a good game as well. I mean, he just had a 
fiery five minutes, Kalemka, didn't he, in the middle of set number two, and Zaxel went away. Javernock with the serve, big serve as well. Back on Slivka this time, front court receiver. There's a pattern forming here for Trentino that they're putting a lot of the serves on the front court receiver. Trzeszewski hunting that one down. Beautiful play again. Two blockers on the left side, has the arm swing to take it away to the right. Just guiding stuff from him, staying smooth with the arm. Great serve, really good serve. Float serve quick, putting the passer on the deck. Chance for Zaxa to go one up again. Goes to the line this time, Slivka, there's a net touch. Against Spatoli, I think. It will be against Spatoli, Slivka against Spatoli has been a good matchup for Zaxa so far. Serve out of system this time. Micheletto, out of system ball. I mean, for those of you that do play volleyball, you know how difficult it is as a left-hander to get your feet inside the ball when the ball's coming from over your shoulder. Some swing from Micheletto, it really is. The Russian Serbian middle monster linking up with the other Serbian middle monster, Lizniac. It's that middle monster who gets the block this time again from Trentino. They are starting to cook again here. Micheletto is cooking again here. My word, two outrageous swings from the boy Wanda. Alessandro Micheletto. in serving, very good. Lizanac is blocking, very good throughout that previous rally, just building through, putting pressure on Zaxa until finally they had the chance to really attack through Micheletto. Spograshinin leaves us for the time being and is... Uh, Slivka. Again from the sideline. I mean, that's a huge serve. Credit where credit's due. Lorenzano just really relaxes, stays stable, pops the ball in incredibly well. And they can use Lizanats from that serve from Slivka. Has to be a good pass, I'm sorry, from Lorenzano. Flexed off the net band, slows the game down. Enjoyable one this one as Zaxa start to hammer the seams. When you play quick enough, the middle blocker can't get out quick enough. And in turn, gaps open up between the blocks and Starshevsky on it again. But Tomasz Kalemka also having a good evening here. Ball still alive. Zaxa with a chance to take the lead, but it's going to have to be a free ball. Surely Trentino here, tip over the top. Chance to build through the rally. You can see the coach, Samalevu, on the side, getting ready to celebrate there. Stashevsky once again risked away, getting involved in everything, Samalevu here, but the ball was too low, Spatoli to Lizanac, and it opened up the game for Zaxa. Zewski, 11 winners, 65%. Good return for his evening so far. This game is the game that currently keeps giving. Uh, that one wasn't too low. That was just about perfect for Lizanac. Good work again off the bench from Javier not putting that ball in. And that is too steep to handle. Spatoli can be delighted with that little bit of magic as well. Difficult for Liznac in that rotation to get around the center and still hit the cross-court angle. angle. That's why Zax will probably give it to him. 1-1, one, 11-11, one, all the ones. And a 
ace. And look who pops up again, Micheletto. Another big serve from Micheletto. There'll be three up in the block here. Handling call cool. against Soji. He says, my bad, fellas, that's on me. Remember, 4-1 down. This was a very slow start for Trentino. But they're starting to hammer back with the serves. Now it's Axa that need to take a timeout. After the rallies, we stay in the middle, give ourselves time. Remember with listening us, we have to put our hands in five. One defense, with Kondrasjan and ready for five of Micheletto. Go, stand up, go. Fight back, fight back. Micheletto, time out to try and upset the rhythm of a man very hard at work. Often it again, two up in the block this time, good feet, but it's a high swing. And this battle on the outside is a fascinating one to watch with Staszewski just knowing that the middle has a lot of work to do from, the ball was obviously traveling from position one all the way out to position four. It's a good spread of the game from Janusz in turn got the middle blocker just traveling across the face of the net and given the opportunity for Straszewski to really have a hammer up but into the net this time Kashmare just when they needed a couple Zaxa one of their main men just missed out at the service line now has to sit three rotations on the back there's an that serve. Always difficult to feed the middle from there. Yanish has done a good job, but unfortunately with the difficulties that come with it is the hitters finding their rhythm. And again, inside on Slivka, very difficult to access the seam there. The more you lean, the more you lose your height. The more the arm doesn't come through, the more the ball will come out the back. On the right side. Good cover just sitting on the edge of the block from Spatoli. Kaczynski, three up. Trentino are oh, the team rolling again. The service rhythm is good. The tactics strong. The front court receiver getting a fair whack of the serves throughout this second set. Kaczynski hasn't been as efficient as he would have liked on the front. Is an axe to serve again. What a pass. No front court receiver here. Slivka being used. And what a way to run the middle. No body home. Well, actually, in, didn't look like he was committing with the middle. Looked like he might have just been holding with the pipe and let it, letting the middle run itself. And in turn, when the ball did go to the middle, very good from Janusz been feeding that pipe, the middle was left unmarked. Serve out the back, Trentino four is comfortable. Still some strength on the bench. There's actually that we haven't seen. Just looks very calm in there, all the same. They won that decision. Kazitsky has a little look at the referee, but the referee says, on your bike. Totally off the net, runs with speed, out of rhythm, and it puts the blockers under all sorts of pressure. Once again, Zaxa under pressure, and it's a little bit 
all over the place here, all at sea. Trentino high to the wing this time. And it's a brilliant swing. At the pin once more. And you have to say, Donovan Javonik has come on and provided a real physical asset on the outside. A perfect replacement for La Villa. Now he serves from the centre. Well, so far, 37 spikes to 31. Zaxa scored more. Eight kill blocks to one. That stat is fascinating on its own right. Four aces over Trentino, none for Zaxa. And I mean, that's the trade-off for the kill blocks, I guess, with both teams favouring different ways to play the game. Service pressure is service pressure. If it's not represented through aces, it's represented through blocks and defences. 17 errors so far for Zach, so that's costly. Only 11 for Trentino. Block out. Still a lot of life in this one. Wherever you're watching from, we do hope you're enjoying this repeat of the last two Champions League finals in Paul D. It's Saxa, who haven't lost an eight in 17 on the road in this competition. Stoli goes high. And you have one option in that situation to go to Micheletto, but Micheletto just works off the outside hand once again. He knows the situation. He knows he can't get after that board. Being able to turn it means and stay fast with the arm. He might just get away with a block out. Very nice from Slivka. Well, when you look at the battle between the opposites, obviously Slivka's playing on the left side just for that one rotation. He's on the right, but Kazitsky currently just three points tonight. Lukas Kazmarek has 11 at the moment. We'll keep an eye on that as we go. Plenty of Time left for drama. What a set from Spatoli. Nobody expecting that one from Zaxa. Gets the hips underneath the ball and really sends it back on the ten attack where Kaziski says, See you later. And goes with the hammer. Fantastic setting from Spatoli. Hips underneath the ball, projects it to his opposite man. No block, no one at home. Totally fantastic setting. Obviously, following in the footsteps of. Gianelli leading this great team in that department. The block from Trentino is alive. I mean, my <laughs> Lisniac is running around like crazy, trying to get to the outside and provide some support on both occasions. Instead, it's a point for Zaxa. Have a real game unfolding in front of us. Front court receiver through the pipe. And Javonok is flying here. Twice we've seen him go fast cross body from a high point. But I mean, with Levier Le coming off has been the perfect replacement so far. Marak. had some funny plays this evening but nothing beats that one this next is saying let's get in and have a timeout the game has maybe just changed on a big miscommunication hammer on the outside Kosevsky again has been outstanding defensively offensively you name it he's done it but this one in absolutely 
Kaziski's leaving it the whole way. Zaxa are right back in this one. Well, Vinya. But let's see. And Zaxa have come straight back out with an ace. Funny old game, this one. The momentum has just changed. And in big moments, you need your big players to step up and come forward. That's exactly what's happened with Kazmarek. Pick that one out. Heavy artillery from the baseline. Oh, what a response. Are you entertained at home at the moment? Listen, that just thudders one through. Micheletto, fist clencher. Zaxxer have got their way right back in this game best run they've had in this set since the opening few points where they went into that 4-1 lead. Can they pass? Yes, they can. In a good spot, lots of options. Both setters investing in the middles at the moment. Ukrainian. So five. I mean, there's no stopping him. Podrashenin just blocking the cross body. You can completely see why Dimitro Pazitski has come in. Front court receiver. Great tip cover. Zaks are putting bodies on the floor. Good work off the block. And in the end, it goes Trentino's way. Gabriella Nelly off the bench to help with the blocking compartment of the game has just come on and made a big, big play at a huge time. Trentino up by one, second block for them. I have to say, smart move for Lorenzetti. Fortunately into the net, so 23 all. I think on the outside at the moment goes to the middle instead. Trentino are one away here. One rationing. No surprises that Matoli goes to the experienced middleman at these moments when the pressure is well and truly on. Communication inside as Gavernock serving good serve as well all at sea here Zaxa but what a recovery the setting from Yanush just palms one in the way of Kazmarek on the outside and he just turns one cross body overtime first time you've had a close set in here Lorenzano in the centre of a three-man passing unit. It's a good pass to position one. It's, oh, DIY, really good work from the wing spiker. And there's an error from Slivka, a rare, rare error. I mean, Shavernok has been served a fair amount, but to then loop his run on the pipe attack and still find space is good work. Fair play to Zaxa making the dig, but they can't convert. But rationing it. A little bit off the net, no middle. And that one's gone out the back. Trentino say the ball is out. 
We might just have a challenge from Zaxa here, though. It wouldn't be a surprise. They have nothing to lose, but Trentino is sure they've done this. Tomas Samalevu is just having another check, surely. Or is there a touch? What drama in this set. Good serving from Trentino right at the depth to keep the gas down. Was there a touch? I think we can see. Well, it wasn't a million miles away, was it? <laughs> the band's celebrations in the background tell us everything we need to know. Trentino now lead two sets to one. 26-24. Zaxa again have to come from behind. But still... A lot of life left in this one, that's for sure. There are the stats. Close stuff, isn't it? There really isn't. A lot between the two teams here. Another quick confirmation. I mean, Sax has certainly got their way back into that second set. Trentino's serving has been on point, the likes of Micheletto. And you have to give a real good mention, I think. Levia going off injured isn't ideal for Trentino, but they'll feel very happy that they have Donovan Chavernock ready to come in and perform the way he has. He did start against uh, Calavasco. Sorry, started against De Cospan. Scored uh, 15 points in that game. The Via 21, there was no Micheletto and no Kaczynski, just being rested in that opening performance for them. I mean, where Kazmarek scored 27 against Calavasco and it was the same six against Ekospan. Slivka getting 23 of the points. Kazmar getting a lot less of the ball in that second game. Well, underway, set three. And uh, let's see which way this one goes as Kazitsky just stays smooth off the top of the fingertips. Has a chance to rip the serve. Right onto the inside hand of Slivka. Kazmarek tries to get one through the block, just fastening up. And Spatoli this time goes to Micheletto. And he's just got the fastest arm. 
quicker than most Micheletto off the inside hands Kazmari it's a good start for the home team overpass dealt with and Zaxa already looking at maybe their first defeat on the road in 18 matches well they've won 17 it'll be 18 if they win this evening eight in a row in the Champions League unbeaten and they're on the struggle bus at the moment no timeout taken yet but who knows what's coming what a serve as well Trentino is serving lights out at the moment coming in on an angle hitting the cross court angle Kasmarek this time Micheletta has to do wonders with his feet to get to the right hand side of the ball and Trentino now 4-0 to the good Lizanac arm up have a look at that defense but totally to the right hand side feed her into the floor Ronzello does a good job just to pop the ball up but Micheletta almost has to run a full circle around that there comes the timeout Zaxa really are in trouble now Smilevu not the happiest man in this arena Here we go. Does the timeout provide a rest? It certainly does. It's a good rhythm breaker for Spatoli. But as much as he's saying sorry, he hasn't got so much to be sorry about because he's just absolutely rifled a few, few sorry, from the baseline and in turn got his team pretty comfortable. Service error is a real big stat in here because you have to go for them. You're going to miss a few in the meantime. Kaziski goes high. Free ball. To the outside, Porsche. Oh, hang on. Krasiewski is sure that he's got that one. Fingers pointing downwards saying, that's mine. We have a challenge all the same. And it's a very good challenge. Doesn't get much closer than that, does it? Kretsevsky just dominating one. Backside of the line. Had a really good second set, Tomasz Kalemka, didn't he? Oh, we're going to have more squabbles. Isn't that says the ball is in? I really would not mess with... Uh, Tricker is an ads, but I'm also also not two meters, five centimeters or plus. Slivka wants to have another challenge. Isn't that looks like he would put his house on the fact that that ball was in. Talk about big moments, don't we? And Zaks are just already know they have to work hard to keep 
Trentino from running away. Slivka just chatting to his troops. Was there a touch? Doesn't look like there was a touch. And it looks like it was Zax's ball all along. Maybe you can question Treko Lizanats and in turn you might get rewarded. Well. And the in and out means the ball is out. Lizanac said the ball was in. And the point should go Zax's way. And the point does go Zax's way. Three in the pass. Really well cushioned. It's a little bit off the net. Trying to use the middle from there is difficult. Zaxa two up in the block this time. High, robust swing. Kazitsky. Good arm from him before. This Nash does a good job keeping that ball in front of him, staying off the net for a long period of time. Second phase of play, Zinski just stays high off the inside hand, and that's a shrewd bit of work. Blockers are thinking about sealing the outside hand. Sometimes the inside hand goes a little bit unprotected, and there's a few hisses and a few boos in here. Let's go with a bit of drama. And look who's winning the battle of the left-handers. Micheletto, as we saw in the opener, blistering speed on this spin serve. A huge, huge play off the net band. Two and two from Micheletto. Trentino starting to run away with this tie now. Zaxa look like they're going to lose their first on the road in 70. It won't be nine wins on a row, in a row, sorry. If Trentino and Micheletto carry on like this. Another big set. They can't handle the pressure at the moment. Zaxa. They can find a solution though. Kasmarek. I mean, you've got to say it's too early to start talking about the balance of Zaxa's side in the Champions League. It's probably a better discussion at the end, but Semenya providing the points on one wing certainly makes the life of Kasmarek easier on the other. Oh, aces! from both sides. Just big shudders, this net's coming down in a minute. Three players going for it from Trentino. Smarek providing the business hit. Just when his team needed it the most. Two metres four, part of the European Championship and the World Championship squad. Kazmarek getting used a lot more nowadays, this time into the net. Trying to go away from the body to the line. Really got to extend up with the arm on that ball to turn it and make sure it gets there. There's an action. Big spin serve coming from the serve. Perfect serve to put pressure on. Reverse, it's really easy to take in the stride there from Slivka. This time back, Slivka's, where is Slivka? He's almost on the bench. 
Where's he going? Shows he can't keep the ball alive. I mean, it's very rare that that man can't get his arms on a ball. Slitka was almost outside the arena. Good block all the same. A cheeky block from Kaczynski. And it's just not falling Zax's way this moment in time. Great game of volleyball, though. Short ball, this time on the middle. Good run, that, from Zax. So the middle had to stay really hungry for the ball. Pachitsky goes running after his pass to try and take the opposition blocker with him. In turn, it means the ball goes to the outside. Borashanin just having a chat to the bench. Trentino by three. Remember, the winner of the pool goes through. This would be a big step for the winner of Pool D here this evening. Good high swing. What a game he's had off the bench. Javernock comes off, set of around nine meters. Just says, I'm gonna stay high and go off the middleman. Pajitski. Speed again, Kazmarek. I love the speed that he comes in. The blockers doing everything they can to get over. As soon as that arm sped up, beats the timing of the hands pressing. Blockers serve on him, Dimitro Pajitsky. Oh, right on cue. Ukrainian with a thunderbolt to get Saxa back to two. And some of the serving in this game is unreal. You're not passing that one, Trentino. Two rockets in a row. I mean, one rocket for another rocket. It's only again, that ball's gone nine meters on the backcourt. And access the line with a big thud. I mean, Trentino and Kaczynski will know that the middleman's playing defense there. So in turn, it's a good option to have the cross block because it's very difficult for Smatoli to get that ball right the way across the hitting window of his opposite man, Kaczynski. So that's why Zaks are a blocking angle there, just in case the ball should drop inside. That's where the ball will go. It just left the five player unmarked but all the same or uncovered would be a better one Micheletto siding out they show no signs of uh, losing their lead and their rhythm the ball moves quicker than the feet of the block in system that one is always coming angle because that one has dropped inside. I think it's Slipper again. Not doing too much off the ball to help. We can't have another fall, can we? Not this again. I mean, Spatoli gets it up and... Javernock. I mean, it's a great swing from there. Let's hope he's up on his feet, not yet. Have Trentino got any more outsiders? Honest Cavuto. Oh, it's the ankle that's gone. You can see it clearly. Have to feel sorry for Lavia already, but Trentino by four, and it's been a great evening for Jeff Bernock already. Pipe. Oh, good dig. That's not in. Has to be played. Shoji is there. Two digs in a row. The ankle is not that bad on Javernock. Can't be three, can it? No. Third time's a charm for Zaxa. Javernock. Unplayable back there. Zaxa playing. The defensive tricks in set number two, but Trentino 
are making it increasingly difficult for Zaxa to score. Increasing the likelihood of them to suffer. Another crossbody big serve. Chest pass from the man from the Czech Republic this time. High and wide, three up in the block, pinching. Good defensive positioning, all the same from Lorenzano. And it's another point that goes away of Trentino. And Trostevsky, who's been the man for long periods of time this evening, just got beaten by Kaczynski. What a player he is and what a career he's had. Stability on the right side this evening. It's another continuation play. Surely, Trentino by five through the pipe. They are punishing Zaxa. And there is nothing Zaxa can do about it. Is that John the wider play? Tries to take the block with him. And look who it is again. Javernock doing damage left, right, and center. The service pressure is unrelenting at this moment. Trentino into the net this time from Spatoli, but Zaxa have a lot of work to do. They really do. That's a good start. Nothing better than a big, big net band A, said Thomas Kalemka. Almost two in a row. Lorenzano does well to get that in. Galeno gets stopped this time, slowing the game down. Two up, smuggling it through. Snatch goes real quick with the hands, slightly slower. It's a real good change of pace. It's smart from Lucas Kashmak. He knows the block is going to be really well formed. Instead of speeding it up, he slows it down. A quick break there from Zaxa. They're starting to do something special already. Lorenzetti says, okay, we just need to calm down. There's nothing this man hasn't seen. Former Italian junior coach, Fadova Medena. You name it. He has the t-shirt or the suit, one would say. Serve is huge, and maybe the wheels might start to fall off. The first time Javernock has just been rocked. Kalemka doing the damage. It's a great service run. It's another rock. This time the pass is unreal, but Zaxa lived to find another one. Is there a net touch? Yes, there is. Look at that big bear hug. Big Ukrainian bear hug. Pashinsky to his fellow middleman, Kalemka. Nicoletto falls into the net following through on the spike. Four point run this. Kalemka's serve is the difference here. And that's a big play. Lizanac says sorry. Big spready of a block there from Pajinski. Just going with the Y block, trying to take both the sharper angles. Leaves his head slightly uncovered, but he's aware that the middleman won't be hitting those uh, narrower angles, so to speak. Off the hands and out of play. The speed is too much from 
Zaxa this time. Slivka hunting the pipe. And just off the outside hand, Stashevsky. What well, game? Two minutes ago, you have thought that. But the serving from Zaxa. Zaxa, sorry, insane as he just watched this match. Just turn an angle there. And he has to do it the hard way. It's not the first time we've seen that. It's the most difficult swing for the middle to come around the setter, to turn the upper body towards five, and then turn it a little bit more. The easy option is to not do all that work and just hit it straight to one, because that's naturally where the ball wants to go. Lisnat in to the net, tied at 17s. Ladies and gentlemen, are we going to a fifth set? It wouldn't be a surprise. serve into a good spot it's more pressure and just hitting as high as possible Kaczynski as Marek says okay you might have got me that time but I'm pretty close so I went to the other side after all to Slitska's side and Pajiski off the block it was a mistake for me thinking that Kazmarek was on the left side for that rotation good defense 18-17, what a set, Spatoli Kaczynski has been stopped, recovery, great feet, my word, Spatoli has to do so much work there to keep the ball in front of him and then fire his arms on the turn to the wing and that great work just opened up a gap between the two blockers but in the end, high off the hands from Javernock, two point game opened up again here fascinating encounter between two of the great teams of this sport we fight we fight this side out then guys things that we have to do straight yeah. with Kaczynski hands in fine with Lizzie Nuts. if he comes again to the first row fight this side out cover go Mikiel at the back row we read ready for point And Trentino finished the job here, the three up. Somehow, where was the gap there? I don't know, but you give Slivka an inch, he'll hammer it all day long. We're going to have a better look here. Just in between the two blockers, the furthest blocker, to make the journey across to try and get three up. Fascinating encounter, I tell you. It's exactly what we want. Wednesday front court receiver picked out again and the speed from Trentino golden Michelello with the cross body if you gave me a euro for every time he's hit that ball sorry it's away from the body every time he's hit that ball I would be a very very rich man Michelello 21 points already no surprise there is Trentino used the outside a lot more than the right at the moment with Kaczynski, Lorenzano, the youngster, Italy doing such a great job, not only at senior level at the moment, dominating the world, but also at junior level as well. Drashevsky does a job, he's holding on there, it's a real good shot of him, he's falling backwards, but he's trying as much as he can to put his feet into the floor to keep stability and be able to just guide his arms wherever he wants the ball to go. 2019, you cannot shake Zaxarov. Oh, oh. And there's a freebie. Look who's back on the court, Lavia. trasevsky has gone. Sorry, Yanush has gone. You're not in rhythm. So, in theory, I'm just going to play the ball straight on you as quickly as I possibly can. Same. Lavia gets the ball in this time. Just overloading the play to the right side is smart. Kaczynski stays high as possible. 
It's a great set. You can see the middle taking a step out to the right-hand side, then having to get back across there, Kalemka. And that's all because of Spatoli's footwork to get out facing the pin and then get the hips back underneath the ball. Double change here as Nelly comes in to provide a little bit of height at the net. I say a little bit of height, two meters, 10 height. Still, they go off the top of them. Zaxa, no, that one's out. Shoji's maybe debating how good that was. Lavia. Having a smile, that ball was just out. Spatoli back into set this time. Which way is this one going? Slivka. We're going from the far sideline. Watch out for the cross body. Micheletto may be the target. We haven't seen him go many to the line today. <laughs> And just on cue, he goes straight to the line of Lorenzano. Good side out, the liberos wide awake. A threat tamed from Slivska's serve. And again, Spatoli finds the opposite on the 10. The middle struggling to get across. And that's the problem, they've got big middles here. Zaxa, who at times are struggling to get out and close. Real do it. The teams both siding out nicely. Spatoli. Fast play. Crossbody swing. This is the opportunity for Trentino. Surely. Oh, 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 oh what a swing. Sharp crossbody. The king. Kaziski. Is that a nail in the coffin of Zaxa? As sharp as you like. Two-point game. Zaxa, no, that's a big and big serve. It's a real good time to take pace off the ball. Strashevsky. Again, changing the arm speed under pressure to try and get away through the block. Zaxa need a break, though. Big side out at a huge time. Zaxa are really not happy. Well, their unbeaten record on the road is going to be finished. And their unbeaten run of eight is going to go as well. Lavira, to be fair, has come back off the bench. And in turn... Killing him. Match point. Micheletto, it's the perfect time for Micheletto to be serving, and Trentino have done it. After losing two Champions League finals to Zaxa, we have a challenge, but it looks like Trentino have got a victory here. Surely Zaxa are calling it just for the sake of a last roll of the dice here. The three-time winners of the Champions League look like they've defeated the team that have won the last two at their expense in a final. Javerdok just being shown he's had a great game. Oh my word, there was a net touch. <laughs> It's off the head. Isn't that just not happy here? Whether there is an arm on it or not, we'll have to wait and see. The referee is always right. I mean, how does the net ban look? Trekalisnach. Okay. 
all the excitement and the drama. This could be enough to turn the tide, you know, because Lucas Kazmarek is a shrewd customer in this game. And he has the ball in hand, serving to keep Zaxa in the game. What a big serve under pressure. Now hitting their way out of system. What a play! The Czech man in his first season in Trentino has come off the bench to do the business. Donovan Javernock has done the damage here and the unbeaten run of Zaxa has come to an end. 17 undefeated on the road, eight undefeated in a row in the Champions League and the Scarfs are out flying high. A huge performance from Lorenzetti's men. They've defeated Zaxa after losing to them previously in the last two Champions League finals. Have a look at that. Three sets to one. The first two sets really one-sided. The second two sets absolutely nothing between the two teams. A heavyweight blockbuster has come to an end. It's Trentino that take the victory here at the BLM Group Arena. The match stats, well, they'll tell us everything we need to know. More blocks from Zaxa, not many from Trentino, but the service pressure was really there. You'll see it more in the defenses and the breaks as well. Score more points overall. Zaxa will be massively disappointed. It's just a slight step back whilst they look for their third straight Champions League. It's not plain sailing at the moment for Zaxa and their new coach, Tuomas Semelevu. And you have to have a look at Paul D. Three from three at the top. Trentino will be smiling all evening long. Zaxa dropped their first match of this competition. And there's a lot of work to be done yet. The new Champions League format, all four winners, all second places go through the top third place team as well. Got that one slightly mistaken earlier on, thanks to Rob St. Clair for giving me that little nugget of knowledge. But a good evening for Trentino. And you have to say, they were on it from the off, weren't they? Great performance. You say that the middle, Kalemka, had a good game for Zaxa. Kazmarek as well. But you look at Micheletto, what an evening. Shavernock, you have to say, number four, right in the middle of your picture. Checkmate, bud. Good work through the pipe, aggressive on the outside. Solid performance as we hear from Micheletto. Many congratulations, Alessandro. A strong match, a big victory for the first place in the Pool D. Yeah, but the, the job uh, doesn't finish. So today it's very difficult because uh, Zaxa was a very good, uh, good team. And uh, we passed a lot of uh, difficult day. So I'm very happy today for this victory and for, the, uh, for my team because uh, we work hard every day in, uh, in the gym, and uh, this is the result. It's a, a small revenge uh, after the, the last uh, Super Finals. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, it's very good. I like so much play against Zaxa. Uh, they, they, they are a very good team, a lot of uh, great players. Uh, today it was very difficult. I hope uh, we will uh, see in uh, another in another super finals <laughs> thank you very much congratulations he's won a lot but he hasn't won the champions league yet has he i say yet because well the volleyball world expecting the very best alessandro micheletto but it's a good evening in his career a great night in trentino season
They will be delighted to end the glorious form in this European Champions League of Saxa. They were great value for it as well. Serving, passing, and also a quick mention for Ricardo Scapoli, the ex Milano man, pulling the strings all evening long. Well, there you have it. Confirmation. A great evening in the office for Trentino. But there's a lot of life left in this Champions League.